Okay. Since I'm a uh, glutton for punishment and um, I've really gotten into these old tractors, what's one more? Uh, we might just fix up all the equipment on the farm by the time I'm done with it. But uh, what we got here? Yeah. By the cereal plate, this comes out to be a 1944 Farmall A. Let's see if we can get her cranking. It was sitting here. It was one one of my uncles had started to redo a little bit. But uh, I'd already squirted some oil in the cylinders. She, uh, the old girl even has a hand crank. And she's freed up, so... I mean, you know, we need to find a starter, and there's multiples to choose from. But, uh, yeah, it's got a magneto on it. So, really, all I need to do is um, a battery and uh, put it on a starter. And the starter has a pull, like this one. You just put a pull rod on it, and you just, and you turn the starter on. So, that's it. A starter, some cables. Maybe we'll put a little alternator on like we did the John Deere. Make a 12 volt system just to make it simple. Because then I just need to bolt an alternator over here and run it. So we got here. This is, oh, that's the choke rod. Uh, what's this rod over here? I don't even know what this rod is. I think it goes into this one. All right. You think we uh that we can get this one going? Hmm. Guess we'll have to find out. Who knows? Next year, maybe Holden will pull this one. And then maybe we'll find something for Reed too. Well, if he's gonna drive it, he best start working on it. Old oh, man holding working on the old farm all over here. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's getting any fuel. I don't know how to get fuel to it, except for that's just it's an oil bath, so I don't know if it's gonna go in there. Well, we at least got a drug back to my garage. Let's start piecing her back together. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know why that doesn't want to fire. It looks crusty. Don't mind me, I'm just playing with magnetos. So this is going to be take, uh, take 560 something. Let's see, let's hand crank this mother. I need to get started with kick back. What you know about them apples? Again, I just can't help myself. That's an open breather and it wasn't puffing, so this thing doesn't even have that much blow by. Had about 75 psi cranking. Woo! Another one saved. Well, I reckon we're about to find out some stuff.
Well, that didn't last long. At least it was just a clogged carburetor. Take that little breather off. Since it's in the way a little better. Oh, let's get some painting. Let's do some painting. Oh, look at that red. Gonna be like a new tractor. Oh, I'm not even spraying it that bad. Oh yeah, suck it up, Buttercup. No, I'm just kidding. Look at her getting all dialed up. She's going to be mint before you know it. Oh, look at that pretty. Even clean, cleaned up the farmal badge a little bit. Ooh, doggy. All right, what do you say we button this thing up? Now that's a good looking tractor. You talk about a true blue barn find. Kill the Magneto. Perfect. I just love how this thing just purrs like this. I can't, still cannot get over the fact that I just drug this out of the barn and me and Holden got it running. I even was able to rebuild the, actually not even rebuild, just clean the carburetor out. I gotta order a chrome, I order a chrome breather to go with whatever this stack I found. Oh yeah. Chrome makes everything better. I'm gonna have to make that a little, pull this up and then cut it a little shorter. So it looks a little, a little better. But <laughs> they just, oh, it just tickles me. Same thing, go over here, turn it back around and come to me. Don't hit my truck. All right, spin it around. This way, come on. Pay attention to what you're doing. All right, now you see this lever? I can move it one knot. One knot. Oh, there you go. Pick it up a little speed. Same thing. Just make another lap. When you get straight coming back this way, give it a little more throttle. Turn it. Two clicks. Two clicks forward. Good, good, good. Okay, you rev it up a little bit. Bend around. Now you're going to take it over there to the shock. When you get next to the shock, you're going to push in the clutch and hit the brake. Okay, now watch, you're going to go beside the shot, that way if anything happens, you'll just go straight through. I think you're very efficient making the Alright, come over this way a little bit. Let's get lined up a little better. Alright, press in the clutch. Actually, pull the throttle back. There you go. Push in the clutch all the way. Hit the brake. Take it out of gear. Pull back. All right. Let off. All right. Now, 
I know it's gonna stay here, but you would you would never get off the tractor with it just in neutral. You would have the e-brake on, turn the tractor off, and that. Go ahead and do it right now. I gotta move it. And then you would put it back in gear so it would lock a transmission. Alright? Good? Good job. You're done. I'll, I'll put it in the garage. The next day. Neutral. No. Nope. Uh, I said neutral. I wonder if he knows he just inherited a job. Yeah, I just, you know, made him feel all cool because he's on a tractor. Now he gets to clean the chicken coop. Yeah, testing and cleaning. I like it. What's your tractor holding? Normal eyes. Remember what year it is? Nineteen forty-four. Yeah, she's an oldie. What'd you name it? Calvin. Very sweet, huh? Yeah. You already towed. You already got to tow my truck out of the ditch. Isn't that nice? Sure. Not bad for an old farm old A named Alvin. Hopefully, we'll see holding, pulling this thing at the fair this year. All right, well, this has been a fun little build. Gotta do another one for, uh, gotta do another video for Reed's tractor, but as far as this one goes, I think she's rock and roll ready. We'll have to see what happens come pulling season. All right, y'all. See ya. Booyah! So, being able to hand crank that tractor. <laughs> I have to admit, I am too. But don't forget to come back next time. We're going to do a video for Reed's tractor. He's pretty excited too.